everyone. Today we are doing the manual microscopic on a urine. Um, this is a urine that had a 10 blood. Uh, so that would be a trace blood. It has a urobilinogen of 8, a bilirubin of 2, uh, protein of 100, uh, negative nitrogen and ketones, ascorbic acid of uh, 10, so that might affect the bilirubin, uh, and pH of 6, uh, specific gravity of 1.015, and leukocyte esterase of 25. So what we're, what we're expecting to see by um, the urobilinogen and bilirubin is going to be a difference in the color of the urine to um, amber, and that was the color of the urine. It was icto negative, icto test negative. Um, what we're looking at here is on low, and uh, we're scanning, and we see white cell clumps here, okay, and um, there have been some squamous that are rolled up. There's lots of whites here, and. Um, if this patient was, this is a fiber. Uh, if the patient is um, on antibiotics for a, uh, let me see what that is, for a urinary tract infection, that's not yeast. Okay, for a urinary tract infection, then it might already be working because I don't see uh, any bacteria. So this is all on low. Okay, we're scanning and I do see, I do see a transitional. Can you see it? It's right, yeah, right there. Hey, <laughs> I'm trying to do this not on my phone because it's so hard, um, but I'm looking at it under the scope and you're right next to my face. It's awesome. Okay, so yes, that's a transitional. Great job, class. <laughs> Um, so when you go around, you're going to be scanning the periphery and zooming in and zooming out. So I'm trying to make sure that I can see where that was. Oh, okay. Um, so we're going to go on 40 there to try to find that transitional. Okay. What is going on here? Um, there it is. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Okay, so this is great because we've got a white cell. Can you see what I'm seeing? Okay, well, there's the bacteria. <laughs> the bacteria are moving. They are happy. Uh, they're just having a good time right there. But check that out. Okay, so we've got a transitional right next to a white. You don't get to see this all too often, um, at least not on my videos. <laughs> So um, this is wonderful. See how big the transitional is compared to that white cell. And the white cell, um, you know, you can't really see a distinct nucleus, but you can see that there's a lot of different um, little circles in there, which would be a neutrophil. Okay, so that would be the multi-lobulated nucleus that we're looking at. Oh, this is gorgeous. Okay, so we have, um, we have many bacteria um, we're looking at whites and we probably have, okay, let me try to zoom out so you can see my field. Now your field is a lot different than mine. So on my phone, um, that's like one, um, one WBC per high power field. See, we're looking, um, but the scope is showing, um, something much different. There are probably about five per high power field on my scope. Okay, so you're not seeing exactly what I'm seeing, so I'm trying to do my counts with what you see. Okay, so we have, we have, see that red blood cell that kind of doesn't look like anything on the right? Um, so that's an artifact in the middle. Um, but see to the right, there's like a ghosted circle. That's a red cell. I'll try to put it in the middle here. There we go and zoom in with my phone. Okay, so see that looks, that's a red cell, looks different than the white cell down here. Okay, there's another white, or sorry, red, which you can't really see very well. Um, we got lots of bacteria, woohoo! There's another white cell. 
Okay. All right. Let's. So I'll try to do this on my phone now so we can get correct counts. So we're doing 10 power fields. So far we have uh, one uh, white per high power field and many, too numerous to count, um, of bacteria. All depends on how you do that at your facility. That's a white. There's a red. Another white. Okay, so we have less than one transitional uh, from what we've seen. This field has more than what we've been seeing. So there's two whites in what I'm showing you now. Two whites and two reds. Still lots of bacteria. So um, again, what would cause us to believe that there are um, white blood cells in here would be the uh, 25... Um, leukocyte esterase on the chemistry. Um, blood is picking up as trace and um, that could be hemoglobin or myoglobin because the dipstick doesn't pick up intact RBCs as well as hemoglobin or myoglobin. Um, and then we have the bilirubin and the urobilinogen that are positive. But like I said, we did an ICTO test and it was negative, so the bilirubin would be considered negative. Um, but we do have 100 um, protein on here, so you would expect to see some CAS, all right? So I'm going to try to go back to 10 here. Wow. All right, and see what we can see. I'm going to do my other counts outside of having a video because... They need my attention. Okay, so we're on 10 right now. Okay, let's take a look at that. All right, so we see what kind of looks like a clump. All right. It's out of view on yours. Looks like a clump, but on the scope, there's some kind of matrix behind it. So I want to put that on 40 get you to see if I can find it. Hmm. That could be a renal. Tubular epithelial cell, sorry. <laughs> okay. Where did that clump go? Here we are. Okay, so yeah, that still looks like a clump. I'll look at all in the scope. Um, oh, they are kind of formed together though. So we could say that that is part of a cellular cast um, because you have more than three distinguishable cells there and they are formed together and it's not two separate clumps there is actually a matrix behind it you I'm not sure that you can see it very well but formed together matrix not like it's sitting on top of a squamous okay and presumably from <laughs> what i can show you on the phone that looks like uh, white, white cell cast. Yeah, okay, those would be whites. All right, so we're going to continue going around, and we see some clumps, all right? Um, if we had clumps of transitionals, then we would expect the patient maybe to be catheterized if they don't look malignant. Um, if you did have a clump of transitionals that did look malignant, you're thinking bladder cancer. And how do we tell malignancy? Well, um, oh, I can focus on great things, but not on the phone, apparently. Um, so if what we're looking at right now is not malignant. Um, but if we did have a clump of malignant transitionals, it would have a lot of... Um, molding together of the nucleus um, of different cells and 
you would be not able to tell which one is which, you know, they would be going into each other. Okay, this might be another part of a cellular cast. Ugh, not on my phone, but on the, there we go. Another white cell cast. Okay, part of it. This is another fiber. So let's go back out to 10. All right, so we have um, few white cell uh, cat, well, okay, less than one white cell cast per high power field. Um, this is so hard on my phone. <laughs> I forgot what we were saying for the whites. It was probably like two per high power field. Was that what we were saying? We're on low now. Um, and lots of fibers in here. Okay, and we had, that's nothing right there. It's not an egg. Please don't think it's an egg. Um, I'll zoom in on this. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, not on my phone, on this. So that could be part of a granular cast right here. And hmm. Okay, so um, I think I'm going to end this video now because I think we saw pretty much everything we can see um, that I can show you. But the whole idea is to go on the outside of the um, slide. So see how there's that line? We're on the outside of the little slide window. Um, here's a squamous epithelial cell that did not get zoomed in on. Wow. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it again. Uh, Well, that's not what I thought it was. And there's the fiber. So, okay, let's look at this for a minute. We have, I went above it. We have this thing, okay? The reason it does not look like a cast is because, yes, it does have the parallel features of a cast, but look at this notching. Um, it's not, it, it looks like wood. I don't mean notching like in the waxy cast. I mean like the striations of wood, okay? So that looks kind of like um, a fiber, like a plant matter or some, some kind of hair shaft. Um, and, and this as well. And bifringin is going to definitely be an indication that we don't have a cast right here. Okay. Um, let's go back out to low. We've seen, we've seen some white cell um, cast pieces of them. Not really big ones. And we've seen... Um, <laughs> more fiber this person had a lot of fiber <laughs> I'm just kidding okay so basically you go around the outside and anything that looks possibly like something you put it on high and some things are looking like something on <laughs> on my phone and then not really anything turning out not to be anything okay um like this that turns out not to be anything kind of like a highland cast i'm gonna try to find something great and then get back to you okay so this is a white cell clump not a cast all right notice how it, they're not all parallel and formed in together 
okay they're just a big old clump right and and there's no parallel uh, type of formation where it looks like they would have been formed in a uh, tubule and just kind of hanging out because of uh, urinary stasis okay all right so since my um, the slide was full of all these WBCs and we had um, some cellular uh, casts and uh, clumps. I wanted to check out to see if we had any RTEs that maybe we were missing. So I did toluidine blue and I did five drops of my urine and I put one drop of toluidine blue in there and look, hey, we found a renal. Okay, so see the purple right in the middle, that nucleus? Um, and then it's got a cytoplasm outside of it and it's roughly the size of a white, it's a little bit bigger. Uh, that's a renal tubular epithelial cell. Okay, we do have a lot of junk in here because I do need to filter out this uh, stain. Um, but see, there's a red cell, okay, and there, um, there are some white cells in here too, if I could find them. Um, but there's a difference in what an RTE looks like as opposed to a white. So we focused, see, there's a white. Okay, so we focused on what an RTE looked like as opposed to what a white looks like. Um, and that the rest of this is pretty junky. So we can say then that there, um, there's another white, uh, that most of those were whites and that we weren't missing um, lots of RTEs since they are very closely resembling each other in regard to size. Okay, but you know, when you do see CAS, especially there's a white uh, cellular CAS um, or waxy, there's another white, uh, or granular CAS, you want to look for those RTEs to make sure you're not missing any um, indication. Uh, there's another way <laughs> of renal tubular damage and hey that's something crazy um, okay so that's the end of this video I hope you found it helpful and uh, please subscribe if you like this kind of video and I will catch you next time hey look there's another white <laughs> all right have a great day thank you so much for watching bye